What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we'll be going over Q checkbox and Q combo box in PyQt6. Let's get right into it. First, we'll start with Q checkbox. As you may guess, Q checkbox is literally just a checkbox that's the, that the user can check on or off. Not much to it. This is the program from last video uh, with Q label. We are just going to remove all of this and start fresh for Q checkbox. So we actually don't need Q label anymore. So instead of importing Q label, we're gonna import Q checkbox. So it's just the name of the widget, Q checkbox. And I'm going to create a new variable called self.widget equals Q checkbox. And now this also, as a previous widgets, this takes a string as an argument. So I can do my checkbox here. Okay. So I have a widget called q.checkbox and this needs to be self.widget. Okay. Now if I run this, you can see that we have a clickable checkbox that I can check on and I can check off. Now we can also add signals and slots functionality to this checkbox. So if I wanted to know if the user has checked or unchecked this checkbox, I can use a signal. So to create my signal, I'm just going to do self.widget.state changed. And then I'm going to plug in a slot, which is going to be a function that I haven't created yet. It's going to be self underscore so self.show underscore state. So this is a signal that is checking if the state changed or if the check box has been checked or unchecked. And all I'm gonna do for this slot is I'm gonna create a function called show underscore state that takes in the arguments self, of course, and an S, okay? And all I'm gonna do is to, I'm gonna print out if the true or false for if the check box is checked or unchecked. So I'm going to print Qt, so I'm going to use the Qt namespace, this is the last video, dot check state, and then this argument f, we need this argument, or else it's going to throw an error, and then equals Qt dot check state dot checked. Okay? So all I'm doing here is um, confirming if the current check state is equal to Qt dot check state. So this is returning a Boolean. And then I'm printing out this, this boolean, either true or false. So now let's run this. Whoops. It says it's not callable. So I forgot to put connect here. That's my fault. So I see that this is actually a signal now. And this should work just fine. Okay, so now we have a checkbox. When I check it, it's going to print out true. And when I uncheck it, it's going to be false. So True, false, true, false. Excellent. That's Q checkbox. That's a signal and slot that you can use for Q checkbox. Uh, next is Q combo box. So first things first, we're gonna import Q combo box. And a combo box is like a drop down menu for options that you can select. Okay. So instead of checkbox, you need I'm going to erase all of it. Actually, no, I'm not going to erase it. I'm going to keep the function and I'm just going to comment this out. Okay, so that way you can still see it. So I'm going to do self.widget equals Q combo box. And then what I can do with Q combo box is to add the drop down menu items that the user can select, I can pass in a list to this add widgets argument. I mean, add items function, okay? So I can do self.widget.addItems, and then this takes in a list, and the list is the options that the user can select. So I'm gonna do A, B, and C, okay? So now, if I run this, we have a drop-down menu starting with A, and then I can also select B and I can select C. Again, we can use signals and slots with this. So this time I'm going to do self.widget 
dot current text change. So when the user selects a different option, I want this program to do something. Okay? And I'm just gonna pass in a function, let's call it get underscore item. Okay, and I'm gonna define this function. So my slot is gonna be define get underscore item. And this is gonna take self as an argument. And now I just gotta check or print out what the current item is. So I'm gonna do print self.widget.current text. All right, so again, I'm, I'm using this, oop, and this time I'm not forgetting dot .connect, okay? So I'm checking if the current text has changed, so the user selects a different option. I'm passing this argument, this function, and this function, all it's doing is it's printing out the option for the user to change to, okay? So let's run it. So again, I have my drop down menu starting at A. If I click B, it's gonna print out B. If I click C, it's gonna print out C. And then again, for every option I select, it's gonna print out that option, okay? So you can expand upon this. You can try different things with signals and slots and these two widgets that I just showed you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you in my next video where I talk about Q-Line Edit. Take it easy.